In order to download Predator Sense, visit ESA website. In that, visit Drivers and Manual tabs and enter the model number on screen. Now, you can see this model number is the one for the latest Predator laptop which supports RGB lights as well. So now, in Applications tab, you can see this is the latest build for Predator Sense available that is on 20th April. So download this and once you complete the download, Make sure you extract the folder on your desktop. So extract this folder on your desktop. In that folder, go to Plux folder. And now here you can see there are various model numbers. Now I have renamed a folder with my laptop's model number that is Nitro AN515-51. Now you can see there is a list of Predator laptops. I would recommend you to search each one of the laptops and check which configuration suits best with your laptop. Once you rename the folder, you can directly run the setup. Once the setup is completed, visit PredatorSense UWP folder and install all these packages. Few packages might give you error depending upon your windows architecture. Once PredatorSense installation is complete, run the PowerShell with admin rights. And copy paste the following commands. These commands will reset your performance counter. Once you get this message successfully rebuilt performance counter, you can now run the PredatorSense setup. In case you face any errors during this, do let me know in comments. When starting PredatorSense for the first time, I would recommend it to start with admin rights. So this is the home page for PredatorSense. This pulsar lighting feature is working for the laptops that supports RGB keyboard. For example, if you have latest Nitro 5 or a Predator laptop, you can use this feature. But as my laptop is 2017 edition Nitro 5, it has only red LEDs. I am unable to use this feature. But other features such as modes, extreme mode, turbo mode or fan controls, then monitoring game sync and app center i can use all these other tabs but these features work only with the latest laptop available so thank you for watching the video and please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and feel free to comment if you face any issues during this installation